Math 1, practice 6.1.1, using coordinates to prove geometric theorems with slope and distance. So the first two just wants us to use the distance formula. Remember, distance formula is square root of y1 minus y2, or y2 minus y1, either one works, x1 minus x2 squared. Okay, so we could call that x1, y1, this x2, y2, and we plug them in. So we get the square root of 1 minus 11 squared plus negative 1 minus 4 squared. 1 minus 11 would give us 10 squared. Negative 1 minus 4 would give us negative 5 squared. 10 squared is 100. Negative 5 squared is positive 25. So we'd get the square root of 125, which if we use a calculator, we can figure that out pretty easily. Just go square root of 125, and that gives us about distance of about 11.18. Okay, number two, we treat the same exact way. So, negative 2 minus negative 1, and negative 3 minus 6. So we get negative 9 squared here. That would be like plus, so we get negative 1 squared, so 1 plus... 81 would give us the square root of 82, which 82, take the square root of that, is about 9.1. Alright, okay, let's move on. 3 and 4 says, a right triangle has a 90 degree angle made up of two perpendicular sides. Graph each triangle and then determine if each one is a right triangle. Okay, so let's graph these points. So negative 6, 2, negative 2, negative 2, and 2, 1. Okay, so here's our triangle. So what we need to do is essentially find the slope of these and see if we have any perpendicular lines. That's the easiest way. Perpendicular, remember, are opposite reciprocals, which means if I have a slope of 1 half, negative 2 over 1 would be perpendicular. So let's figure out each one. So the slope, I'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, so negative 4 here, then 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 4 over 4, because it's rise over run, would equal negative 1. Then this one here, we'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and down 1. So it would be negative 1 over 8. Okay, then this one would be, we'd go up 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2, 3, 4. So it would be 3 over 4, which none of those match up. So we know it's not a right triangle. So for three, the answer would be no. So then number four, we've got negative three, positive two. There's one side of our triangle, point, then one, four. And finally, three, zero. So we find the slope of each of these to determine. So starting right here, we go down 1, 2, so negative 2 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it would be negative 2 over 6, which reduces to negative 1 third. Okay, this one we go up 1, 2 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that would be 2 over 4, which is 1 half. Then this one we go down, 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 4 to the right, 1, 2. So that would be negative 4 over 2, which would reduce to negative 2 over 1. So right here we have opposite reciprocals. So that means that's a 90 degree angle. So yes. Mm -hmm. And we could show based off of that picture that it is. Okay, 5 and 6 says, A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with opposite sides parallel. Graph each quadrilateral and then determine if each one is a parallelogram. Okay, 
So we need to graph these four pieces and determine if they're parallel. And remember that parallel lines have the same slope, so we're looking to see if they have the same slope. So, all right, so there's our lines. Okay, first off, these ones, if I looked at the points, 3 and 3 and negative 1 and negative 1, they have the same y value, so I know those two are going to be parallel. Okay, I could even count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, distance, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so they're congruent as well. Now we see this, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, so 4 over 1 and 4 over 1, so those two are parallel, okay, and we have the same triangle there, so we know using the Pythagorean theorem or the distance formula, they'd be congruent as well, so yes, this one is a parallelogram. Now let's look at 6. So negative 2, 2, 1, 8, oops, we may need to adjust this one, so 1, 8, negative 2, 2, 4, 5, and 3, negative 2. Okay. So with this one, we find slopes again. Okay, so we go down 1, 2, 3, 4, so negative 4, to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it would be negative 4 fifths, and we do up here, 1, 2, 3, to the right, 1, 2, 3. Negative 3 over 3. The opposite sides definitely aren't parallel, so we can stop right there and say that one is not a parallelogram. Now, 7 and 8. A re rectangle is a parallelogram with opposite sides that are congruent and consecutive sides that are perpendicular. Graph each quadrilateral and then determine if each one is a rectangle. Okay? So, kind of the same type of stuff. So we've got negative 2, negative 1. Oops, wrong way. Negative 3, 1, 1, 3. And 2, 1. Okay. So, um, first thing we want to check is our need to make sure they're parallel first and that'll also help us check the distance because if you remember the P Pythagorean theorem okay, tells us in a triangle whatever these two sides are squared added together would equal this one well if we make a triangle here by going one two up and one two three four to the right I could then find that distance well any triangle you know this triangle I made right here any triangle that has a side length of 4 and 2 is going to have that same distance. So slope of 2 over 4 or 1 half. And let's do this one. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I know those two are going to be the same. And they're also parallel. Okay, that's a good start. Now we do it with these other ones. So down 1, 2 to the right one. So negative 2 and 1. So it would be negative 2 over 1 for the slope. This one down 2 to the right 1. Once again those triangles would mean these two sides are congruent as well. And they have the same slope, negative 2, 1. Now the last thing is to see are these 90 degree angles. Well, we have 1 half. We also have negative 2 over 1. Are they perpendicular? Yeah, we swap those sides, make it negative. So those are 90 degree angles. So this is a yes for those ones. 
Now let's try number 8. So 1, negative 3. 0, 0. 4, 4. And 5, 1. So there's what might be a rectangle. So let's find some slopes. Down 3. To the right 1. Down 3 to the right 1. So we know those are parallel and they are the same size and their slope is negative 3 over 1. So now we find these other slopes 4 and 4, 4. And four. So that tells us these have the same length, and they're also the slope of four over four. However, these are not, I don't know why I ever did an equal sign, these are not opposite reciprocals. The opposite reciprocal would be positive one third or negative four over four. So those aren't right angles, which means you can't call it a rectangle. Okay? Parallelogram, yes, but not a rectangle. Okay, the 9 and 10, a square, the only difference between a square and a rectangle is all the sides will be congruent. Okay, all right, so let's try these ones. So we graph negative 2, 1, 1, 3, and 4, 1. And then 1, negative 1. So basically what I'm looking for is, are all the sides the same length? So we draw those triangles again, down two to the right. Okay, now this one would go up two to the right. Okay, so that's good, meaning that side's congruent to that side. So that's up two to the right, three. And then we go to the right, 3, and down 2. Okay, so that tells us because we have 2s and 3s with the Pythagorean theorem, those are going to be the same length, so they're all congruent. All right, so now we have to decide, are these 90-degree angles? So are that we have two of them that are negative, 2 over 3, and we have one of them that is positive 2 over 3, okay? They're not opposites, so therefore those aren't 90 degree angles, so we have to say no. The other stuff checked off, but not this one. So let's try this last one. So negative 1, 4, 0, 6, 2, 5, and 1, 3. This is kind of a smaller one. Okay, so we've got to see, are they all the same length? So let's build those triangles. One, two, one. So two over one. This is opposite side. One, two, to the right, one, same thing. Okay, those two sides are congruent. Okay, now let's do the other side. Down one, so negative one, to the right two. Okay, so it'd be negative one half for their slope. So down one to the right two, same thing. So all three are congruent because all their triangles are using one and two. Because if I went negative one squared plus two squared, I'd have one plus four or five. Same thing as if I go positive two squared plus one squared. We still end up with five, which we take the square root of. So those are all the same length. Okay, now we determine if they're 90 degree angles. Well, two of them have this slope. The other two opposite had this slope. Bam. So we swap them. 1 over 2, make it the opposite, which would be negative 1 half. So they are perpendicular. So the answer there is yes on that one. Okay? So that's kind of the way we can use that. Now, you could have used the distance formula um, to help you figure it out. Um, but I hope you noticed how using that Pythagorean theorem triangle, that whenever I have a triangle that has the same numbers on the legs, 
we know that the hypotenuses are always going to be the same. So that kind of saves us some time because we use that to find the slope. And we can use it to just match the distance. We don't care what the distance is, just if they're the same or not. So there we go.